Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here, and uh, bringing you a new TTM Autograph Weekly Recap. I just want to share with you what I got this week. I did not get a chance to like do individual clips on each day just because my work schedule changed just for this week and just didn't quite work out that way. So I just thought I'd come to you all on Saturday and get this all done. Uh, if you're new to my channel, what I do is I write to athletes or celebrities and ask for their autograph through the mail. That's what TTM stands for. And I get my addresses down below. There's links down to the sites I use in case you're looking to try this. And maybe see some people I get in that you might wonder, hmm, I wonder if I send them a letter if they'll sign, I can direct you to that a link down there and you can find an address for them. So let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, this is gonna be kind of all mixed up of random, but all throughout the week from Monday or technically Tuesday because there was no mail on Monday from Tuesday all the way up to today so first off we got Miss Judith Light now she's best known being there in that photo from Who's the Boss and uh, I'm actually going to donate that photo to uh, Autographs for a Cure and pretty cool it's got a young Alyssa Milano it's probably about the first season I'd say in that one so that's a, that should be a pretty cool one to donate to Michael. And then she also just signed, um, looks like she signed both sides of the paper here. Just a little, a little extra testing out the pen maybe. This Judith Light. Then we got a Packers football player from the 80s, early 80s, Mike Mad Dog Douglas with the number 53 inscription. Looks really cool. Um, very awesome photo there. So I was happy to add him. That was out for about a month or so. We got a racing return. I believe these are all from Wednesday. Except for Judith Light was on Tuesday. I think she was the only one I got. And then these, the rest are on Wednesday. So this is uh, Kurt Bush. Came back pretty quickly. Uh, this one's kind of a little bit hard to see because on the black a little, but. Uh, Actually, it comes out a little bit more on camera than in person, so that's pretty cool. We got an MMA fighter, Emily Whitmire. Signed down below there. And inscribed it to me on the back. But that's a cool one. Got some MMA fighters. I believe now we're on to. Hmm. I think we still are on Wednesday. So this has been out for a while. Uh, I think I sent either earlier this year or last year. So when did I print these? It was printed in March, so I guess it's probably about March or April that uh, I sent these out. But I got former wide receiver Braylon Edwards, who had a pretty good career uh, with the Browns and the Jets. Good player. It's a nice uh, in-game shot there. And here's one with the Jets. Braylon Edwards. And this one, this one's really cool. Um, one of these is going to be going to Autographs for a Cure, but I really love this one. So this is Mr. Ronaldo Nehemiah. He is an Olympic uh, track runner who uh, went on to play for the San Francisco 49ers for a little bit. Uh, kind of primarily as like a special teamer slash wide receiver. He had a lot of speed. And there's a lot of hype surrounding him. They're wondering, all these people are like, can he take a hit and all that stuff. But, uh, hey, it's pretty cool to get back from him. Uh, put world record holder, uh, 1293. Uh, world record hurdles, 1293. And then he signed the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, Super Bowl champs, 1984. Then we got one. World record hurdler, 1293 inscription. This is when he was at college in Maryland. And this one is really cool. This is the Olympics. Uh, he wrote a little note. He says, Caleb, proud of you and what you're doing. God bless you, Ronaldo Nehemiah. So uh, that's pretty awesome just to get that back from him. So uh, really cool. So that was pretty cool to get back. I definitely love that one. So that's an interesting one if you guys are looking to send to. Uh, then this came in on 
Thursday. I believe this is the. Um, I had maybe two or three. So, yeah, this is Thursday. Miss Linda Evans. This was out for a while as well. Uh, a few months there. Actress, I believe Dynasty is one of them that she was in. So very cool. Then uh, got Mr. John Wolfram. He is a retired Navy SEAL who later became a pastor. Uh, he might actually still be pastor now, I'm not sure, in Georgia. But he is one of the Navy SEALs who helped recover the pod from the Apollo 11 uh, when it landed in the ocean. And here he is on one of the photos. And I've sent to another guy from that as well. So hopefully we get both of them back. Maybe he'll be in, in the ones for today. So that was a that's a pretty cool one. Not only does it fit my military collection, it also fits in the NASA collection. And then we got a hockey return that I sent out during the season last season. Uh, this is Mr. Nick Folino, I believe. This one from the Columbus Blue Jackets. He signed in silver on this one. He signed this one for Bruce. And the face off maybe. And then the 5 by 7 for me. Uh, inscribed to me. So pretty cool. Nick Folino. Then we got uh, NFL legend for the Bills. Mostly. I've already given away one of the photos. But uh, Ron McDole. Signed two when he was with the Redskins. He's number 79 for the Redskins. I believe he was like 72 for the Bills. So that's cool to get him back. And then that one, Ron McDowell is from Friday, so is Folino. Uh, Greg Biffle, another NASCAR driver. I came back pretty quickly. And uh, sent to Mr. Emerson Boozer. Who is a terrific TTM signer? If you guys are looking to send to some football players, he signed this one there. Uh, I think that might be Johnny Robinson going after him, actually. Uh, here's one Joe Namath giving him the handoff. Nice black and white photo. And then he signed this one against the Colts. This might be in the Super Bowl, honestly. Most likely it is. And then he sent just a little custom. Little pocket size photo. And just a little thank you. So he's a very cool guy if you guys have not sent to him. Uh, really awesome. So thank you, Mr. Boozer. And this is the last one from Friday. This was out for a while. I totally forgot about it. Now, this is from May 2018. I This was the, kind of the month where I kind of stopped keeping track of my pending. So I don't know where I sent to. Um, he also wrote an entire letter here on the back side of my SASE, which stands for self addressed stamped envelope. But uh, this is actor Daniel Butler, and this is from a scene in Monk. Um, I guess if you haven't seen the series, I won't spoil it for you, but uh, it's, a, it's a pretty cool uh, episode. Um, and that's kind of, I, I like to get autographs from actors and actresses who are in Monk or Psych and some of the favorite shows of mine. So it's kind of just a little side project I do. So that's pretty cool to get that one back. So we have three possible successes here and a little package here from Henry. So uh, let's start with the TTM. So first off, coming back from Manchester, New Hampshire. It was sent out in September. Just realized I got a bunch of blue marker all over my hand. That's from uh, the flag football game today. We had our last game, sadly. Unfortunately, we did lose. But uh, the kids all forgot about that when we did the uh, parents versus kids game. And they had fun. So I, I even jumped in there for a little bit with them. So, But uh, they were all sad to see the season come in. I'm sad. But uh, they all expressed interest in coming back next year, and I hope to be able to do it again next year and be able to coach again. So um, I look forward to doing that again next uh, September. So it should be fun. So we got a hockey return from uh, recently, uh, I guess kind of like their 
Ring of Fame for the Boston Bruins. Uh, Rick Middleton signed two photos. Um, who knows, maybe possibly could, I don't know if he has a shot at making the NHL Hall of Fame. Could be very well possible. I don't even know he could already be in it. I have no idea. I'm not too good with knowing the Hall of Famers in hockey. Uh, Nashville, Tennessee. This was sent out last month, and, or two months ago in August. The music return. It indeed is. This is for Garrett. This is coming back from Mr. Lee Greenwood, and he put Go Navy. So that's very cool to get back from Mr. Lee Greenwood. Uh, awesome country singer, uh, awesome patriot. I definitely have a lot of respect for him, and I hope Garrett will appreciate that photo for uh, Christmas time there. And finally, coming airmail from the UK. Looks like either they took my paper out that he's protected, or I forgot to put it in there. I don't know. <laughs> I just ignore Duke. He's whining. He wants to come in and sit in the bed. Uh, this was sent out last month, September. I'm almost done, Duke. Okay. Duke is my dog. In case you knew him. So, I guess, yeah. Usually he only signs one anyways, but I thought I'd give it a shot. Um, Mr. Colin Firth. Looks like I sent a pre-signed photo. Because that's not the same photo I used. I sent uh, this one in a... I think I sent this photo, but obviously from Amazon. But this is from... Uh, I can't remember what the name is, but it's kind of about King Arthur, basically. Um, the Last Legion, maybe that's what it was. But uh, thought I'd give it a shot with two to see if it would work, but just signed one, so. Um, still cool, though. They're calling for a great, great British actor. Then, uh, last, we got uh, Mr. Henry Strobel, aka uh, Henry S. here on YouTube been doing videos for a long time does all kinds of stuff does TTMs he does uh, stamps he does uh, first day covers he does coins he does uh, postcards he's on a postcard project and baseball cards and you name it Henry's probably got it or a PC for it so uh, if you're ever in interested you can find his link down below as well I'll put him down below for you and go check him out so ton of stamps there which ones? Those are the one cent. So he had the. So he paid forty cents plus. So it was a dollar sixty. He said he had some things for a PC. He hoped I can use. So I just want to send it. I'm have a feeling maybe it might be like World War One related or something like that. He didn't say. But oh guys, I can't show you this. It's confidential. <laughs> so. Let's take a look see what Henry said. So, he wrote a note, he says, Dear Caleb, I took some of my free time I had on Thursday and went to my favorite antique store. Uh, they have thousands of photos, some I haven't seen in years. There's that many. The military pics were um, hard to find, so that's what a lot of people get. Um, yeah, I, there wasn't very many when I went to the antique store. They were pretty picked over. Um, I left the prizes, uh, I left the, pri oh, the prices I paid on back to show you I didn't spend a lot, so don't worry. Uh, pickup guys, 8x10, maybe World War II, he thinks, he's not sure where, and pickup guys, World War II, 8x10, Air Corps Tech School in Denver, Colorado, so that's a home state, uh, photo there, and then two pics of Dwayne Setney's, I think, not autographed, 1954. Clayton Jansen, 1941. So this is war related. So, and then uh, there's some more guys in here. So, first we got a patch, Tactical Air Command patch. So that's cool. Well, let's take it out so you not so much glare. So that's pretty cool. Um, that can go with uh, the patch that uh, Brandon sent me a while back. This one, this kind of, this is one 
uh, Clayton Abel, I believe. World War II Marine. It's, or Clayton Jansen. March 16th, 1941 in San Diego. So this is probably at camp near Camp Pendleton. So that is really cool. Uh, parcel signature there. Because it's signed Love Clayton. And then looks basically the same pretty similar handwriting on the back so that's uh, that's really cool that's one of the, in case you're also you missed one of my last episodes while I was on vacation I went to the antique store and I was looking for some military photos from World War One or postcards or something and I found some World War Two photos some were signed and just thought I'd try and rescue them you know uh, this one's Clayton Abel from World War Two that's really cool. I don't know why I hadn't ever thought of doing this before. Um, but I was like, you know, there's, this can fit really well with my military collection. Uh, this is the one, this is also, this says Knutson. He doesn't know. Or Knutson. However you want to pronounce it. I think it's Knutson. So we don't know what his first name is, but we know what his last name is. This is somebody with last name Evans. That might be um, the one from the Korean era, honestly. This is Dwayne Setneys. This is the first one he talked about. This is October 19. 54 full field inspection in Camp Gordon, Georgia. So that's cool. This is also, I believe, Camp Gordon. Yep, Camp Gordon, Georgia. So same guy. <laughs> this is a funny photo. That's a paint can that's built, and somebody stepped in it and left. Uh, footprints all the way up, I guess. <laughs> says this, the Department of the Army has no objection to the use of this photograph in commercial advertisements. Provide a copy, layout, or submit it to the review section of public information. So it's safe to use in my video, guys. So <laughs> that's a pretty funny photo there. It looks like a who did it? <laughs> Maybe it was one of those guys. Here's a couple of the eight by tens in there. Got all the guys listed on there. So this is, um, so this is the one that he didn't know where it was, but still very, very cool. And this is the one that's in Denver, the Air Corps Technical School, July 3rd, 1941. Got a little. Looks like it got stuck at some point there in that side, but that's still okay. Very cool. It was stuck on the back of something there. Hopefully all those guys made it back home safe. So, uh, yeah, so thank you so much, Henry, for thinking of me. That was, that was really cool of you. Um, definitely make these guys a really good home. Um, put them in the military collection. And uh, it's kind of, it's sad to think about that you know that I don't know what whatever the situation was if they just didn't have any surviving family members they uh, passed away and just didn't know who to give them to or just accidentally got thrown out and somebody found them uh, it's just kind of sad that you know you're, you're thinking like why would nobody want to keep these but I guess it could very possibly they could have just died and didn't have any family members to give them to so. Um, I'll keep them safe and I'll keep them in my collection and um, hopefully pass them down to somebody else who shares the same uh, passion for autograph and history military as I do and uh, thank you guys again just for all the support in this video thank you again Henry make sure you go check him out and uh, if you would consider leaving a like uh, just great encouragement to keep these videos up and just hit that subscribe button in case you're new uh, there'll be plenty more videos to come, and I will see you all hopefully next week. Talk to you later. Bye.